What's that? You have five layers of shields up and half your HP. That's cute. You can die now. Now, I hear you asking, how can I get one of these bad boys for myself? Well, it's quite simple. Let me show you. First, a simple, shorter guide to get a beefy Dracovish, but not the best one possible. Step one, get a decent Dracovish. First, we of course need Dracovish himself, which requires the item Fossilized Fish and Fossilized Drake. You might add these in your inventory from exploring around Route 6 if you haven't done so already, but if you've used them, spam these brothers to get them both right by the daycare center in the wild area. Give them all the watts. Now head over to Route 6, walk up to the crazy lady and save your game. Now talk to her, hand over your fish drake and get a fish drake. Open up your party and look at your new Pokemon. Does it have the ability Strong Jaw? Then we're set. But if not, purge the foul creation and try again. And by that I mean turn your game off, load it up again, go and speak to her again, and get something that isn't a pile of... Well, look at him, he's going to be a pile of something, whatever happens, but if he's got the ability, Strong Jaw, he works. Step two, get a choice band. Fly over to route two. Dash down here and get the choice band if you haven't already. It's right here, I've already got mine. Step three, train that monstrosity. To train him, we have two choices. One, we can pump it up with drugs. Go to Wydon's Southern Pokemon Center and drop fat wads of cash to get 25 carbos and 25 protein. Shove them inside that bad boy. And to finish it off, we need a bit of a massacre. So go to Route 1, kill four Squirvets, two Rookadies, and go to Route 2 and kill two Tootles. Just cause. Option 2 is a little cheaper. Get a Power Bracelet and a Power Anklet. Slap one of them on your Draco and send him to work. Give him a job. Put the power anklet on and send him for a day on the speed seminar. Wait a day and then send him on the attack seminar holding a power bracelet. And then kill four Squovelet. Just cause. You can now see if you go into the stats screen and press X, these nice little sparkly stars. That means you've done it right. Step four, level him up. Now you want to shove that bad boy full of all your XP candy. You can get that from raid battles or you can just level him up the old fashioned way. Level him up as much as you can because this will make him stronger in raid battles. But you need him to at least level 63 to learn Ficious Ren as this is the move that's going to do most of your damage in raid battles. I'll explain why in just a bit. And then you're ready for the big leagues. Being level 100 means you'll hit the hardest, and any NPCs that join you will be level 70, which makes soloing level 5 raids possible. And that's it. Slap your choice band on. No need to Dynamax, just chomp everything in sight. You can get some other moves in case, such as Crunch, Ice Fang, Outrage, or Psychic Fangs, but all you really need is that almighty jaw. In fact, Dynamaxing him makes him worse, and if you want to know why, listen to the second half of the video. Let's say you don't just want a beefy boy, you want the bestest beefy boy. We can make him stronger. Dracovish before this will do the job, but this is how you get the best one possible. First, you should know what makes him so good. Ficious Rend. This move has 85 power, that's respectable. But if you go first, you double it to 170. It's a water type move, which increases its power. The ability increases its power. The choice band increases its power, again. The move says it has a power of 85, but after all that boosting, it comes out to 573.75 power. And if you somehow get rain, such as from an ally's Dynamax water Pokemon, it tops out to 860.625, over 10 times more powerful. You don't even want to Dynamax him, because this will remove the choice band and the ability's benefit, since Dynamax moves don't use your jaws. So it's literally not worth doing. This is great if you're joining other people's raid battles when they Dynamax turn one. You are not hampered by this at all. So now you know why he's the bestest boy, how do you make the bestest boy? First, make sure you beat the game and reach the Pokeball tier of the battle tower. You only need to win six battles to do this. This lets you see how strong a Pokemon is in your PC. Just press the plus button. You can put work into a few different areas here depending on how you want to power them up. Firstly, while Strongjaw is the most important, you can reset the game a few more times here to get a better Dracovish. 
We want one that's either adamant nature, so it hits the hardest, or jolly, so it's going to be faster and guarantee that vicious friend attack bonus. Both of these just give up special attack, which you won't use at all. Now, secondly, we want good stats. The main ones we need are attack and speed, and we want these to both say best. So you could see trying to get this combination could lead to a lot of resets, but you only need to get some of these to save you the time. You can fix this all in the battle tower with a bit of grinding. For 50 BP, you can get a mint to change the nature to whatever you want. Or you can talk to this guy and give him bottle caps obtained through either max raid battles or exchange for BP to hyper train a stat, meaning it'll say hyper train, but it essentially means it's automatically best. It means you don't need to improve it anymore. If you get adamant and the best stats, you can even just buy an ability capsule to change the ability if you've got everything else in one go. You need to grind something here to get the best Drakefish possible, but it's up to you where. And finally, I'd suggest a PP max for at least Vicious Rend, just so you have that maximum 16 PP and never run out if you come up against, say, a Pokemon with the Pressure ability. Now, once you've got the right nature, the best stats, the right ability, and a choice band, you really can't do more. You have one of the best Pokemon around, ready to tear up every single raid boss. Even if they're resistant to water, they'll still pack some punch or you can just use a different move. And this will also work well against players too. And this is pretty much how you get every Pokemon to be as strong as possible. Except instead of resetting the game a few times, you need to run around the daycare center instead. So you can try this out on your favorite. The exact details of how a daycare center work are for another video as it's a bit more context than resetting a few times for Dracovishes. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks to my Patreon supporter for the faith in my channel so far. Remember to like this video if it helps you, tell your friends, tell your dog, and even consider supporting me yourself if you want more content like this. But most of all, thanks for watching, and may you have many a successful raid battle with this monster.